day, mates, and welcome to another edition of Rolling with Robert, spicing up your sex life. Today's edition is a good edition, yes it is, and I'm going to be taking you on a quest, a quest for the G-spot. For some women, it is a pleasurable reality, but for others, it's like leprechauns and unicorns. It doesn't exist. The quest moves on. Most women are pleased with the regular orgasm, but there is a better one. There is a mass spongy tissue that surrounds the urethra, and it is called which is full of blood vessels and nerve endings that never please anything. And it's on its way to the G-spot. The quest moves on. Doctors and researchers alike agree that there is a spongy tissue in that area. But they disagree! Yes! They disagree! That it's the epicenter of an orgasmic earthquake. The quest moves on. We know something is there. Too many women, yes, too many women, had pleasure stimulated. We also know some women ejaculate when there is pressure applied to the same. The quest moves on. Every woman's vulva and vagina is not the same. And bundles of highly sensitive nerve endings may be in different places. That is why some respond to a certain technique and others don't. The quest moves on. So in fact, the G-spot could be more than just a spot, but more of a zone that's hard to pinpoint from one woman to the next. Which explains why there is so little evidence. The quest moves on. Using a vaginal ultrasound, we have found that there is such an area between the vagina is thought to reside. And women who has reported on having vaginal orgasms. But not in women who's reported having thorium orgasms. The quest moves on. Supposedly the G-spot orgasm is the end all be all of pleasure. Which makes it all the more tantalizing. The quest moves on. Feelings in the clitoris are sent to the brain via the pudendal nerve. As vaginal sensations, including the G spot, are sent to the brain via the pelvic nerve. Because of this stimulating, both spots may lead to a more intense form. Insert your finger into the vagina, which is located right here, and run it along the top of the wall of the vagina. Look out for an area that feels different from the rest of the tissue. Perhaps it's more pleasurable when touched. If you do find a spot that feels promising, stimulate that area with the come here there motion. With the come here there motion. Hey, come here there motion. For many women, the G-spot is about halfway between the vaginal opening, which is located right here, and the cervix, which is right there. If not there, try feeling closer to the vaginal opening or closer to the cervix. It's a mystery. You can also seek on the G-spot the old-fashioned way. The quest moves on. Well, thank you, blokes, for joining me with this edition of Rolling with Robert. 
spicing up your sex life and enjoy the journey and what you may find even if X doesn't mark the G-spot. Peace!